Hey, this is Chris from Ugly Teacher Hiking. Guess what I just purchased from the thrift store the other day? To justify the purchase of this, we're going to be making some backpack meals to vacuum seal them with this bad boy. Hope you guys follow along. Please include any comments down below. Recipes would be appreciated. So let's get started. Ugly Teacher Hiking. I hike it so you don't have to. All right, so we're gonna make our meal for hiking out of the stuff that we had in our cupboard. I don't wanna go out and invest any more money than I have to. So we're gonna look at what we had basically on hand in the cupboard. We had mashed potatoes, complete mashed potatoes. There's all the dietary facts and everything. We got hot and spicy Spam. Yum, yum. There's the dietary facts. And we got some peanut butter, powdered peanut butter. There's the dietary facts. And we have our spices. Now, if you didn't see my video from uh, a couple weeks ago, I got these, these are baby, baby water bottles, baby water bottles. So I put spices in them. They're great for car camping, maybe a little too big for regular camping, but we'll give it a try. Hopefully there's a camping trip in the near future. So let's get started in making our, breaking this up so we can have a great hiking meal that works on the trail. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to break up the mashed potatoes. We can use a scale to measure this out. I figure since it was such a small bag and pretty much there is four servings, a quarter cup each. So we're going to break this up into two servings and that should be one half cup to make our meal. So let's get this open. Now, if you haven't ever used uh, dehydrated potatoes, they're great for making camping meals or using a camping site. Okay, let's see how, what's the best way to do this? I've never actually attempted to do something similar to this, be so precise. Usually I can go through a whole bag of mashed potatoes. Relatively easy. All right, so that's one half cup. Let's put that in this bowl. And it feels like there's more than a half cup in here. So let's go. Hmm. Well, that's another half cup. Maybe I read the back wrong. And it feels like... Let's put that right there. So if there's four servings per container, a quarter cup dry, so there should be four. Yeah, no, that's that's off. Those numbers are off. Now we should have done the weights instead. So I took that last half cup that we had, I split it up amongst the two bowls. So we're just gonna give this a little kick we're going to do a little everything seasoning. Look at all that everything goodness. 
put that in there. And the other bowl, we're going to make a little spicy chipotle powder. Now, I have a lot of friends who make these type of meals and they use um, Tabasco, Chipotle powder, uh, Sriracha, use whatever makes you happy. So this is what we got so far. So for now, that is our initial mix for the mashed potatoes. So now we're going to deal with the Spam. Everyone loves Spam. If you're not familiar, it's basically processed meat in a can. And I found the hot and spicy. It is so hard to find the different flavors. I got this at Walmart if you're here in the US and I'm sure overseas you got your own little different brands that may be the same or approximately the same. So just use whatever you want. I have never tried the hot and spicy, so let's give it a try. Ooh. It's got some spice on the sides. So let's get this out of the can. Sometimes it comes out nice and easy. Sometimes it doesn't. Ooh. So right after it came out of the can, you got that pungent processed meat smell. Now, I know I'm not selling it very well, but it smells like Spam. That's what Spam smells like. So I'm going to do just slices. About an eighth of an inch thick. For now, I'm going to leave this in here. So we're going to chop these up into little squares. Now, if you've never had Spam, sometimes it's an acquired taste but I grew up on it. We used to love getting spam when we were kids, so it was good food. So we're just gonna add the spam to the bowl. I'm just gonna use the knife to scoop it up and maybe just easier to plop it in. There we go. There we go. That's our everything bagel bowl. And this is our spicy chipotle bowl. Now, as I'm going through this, I was thinking maybe it might be a good idea just to let the spam suck up some of the mashed potato. Oh, hopefully without me making a total mess. And we'll see how that works when we go to rehydrate. So I got this food saver machine the other day to vacuum seal food, which is what we're going to use to make our uh, hiking meal. This was a great investment. I got it at a thrift store. It was only $15 and it looks like it was brand new. So just by the sale, the wife said I had to do a video about it. So when in doubt, follow what the wife says. So here we go. And on this, I pre-cut these. We're going to hit the seal button. Once the end is sealed, it'll pop it out. Everything on this is automatic. It's absolutely beautiful. I've had other vacuum sealers where everything was manual and it was just a pain in the butt. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our meal So we have it, I had it this side with the lettering and able to put all your information on here. I'm going to lay this flat. Try to spread it out a little more. 
And instead of going to the same side, I'm gonna go to the back side. All right, let's give that a try. Oh, look at that. So I guess we have to have the flat side down, the textured side up. Wow, look at that, that's awesome. That spam goodness in there and the mashed potatoes. I don't know, I'm kind of geeking out on this right now. All right, let's do the other one. So we're gonna redo the process. I'm going to take our Spam and mashed potato mix, plop it into the bag. I'm going to try to put it down, kind of like how we did it to begin with, like this. But uh, I'm going to not spread it out like I did with the last one. Let's give that a try. All right, well, that's where I goofed up the first time. The texture side has to go up. Texture side goes up. Beautiful, look at that. <laughs> that's awesome. All right, we're gonna put this in the fridge or out for a couple minutes just to let all the flavors spread throughout the whole meal and then we'll give it a try. All right, so we have our Spam mashed potato mix here. This is the one with the uh, everything bagel seasoning, I believe. Now, my whole thing was I wanted to do this where I pour the water in this and maybe make it stable. Uh, I need long bags. This is to landscape. I need it more portrait like this. If it was like this, I think it would work out better. But since, since it's not the way I need it, I'm gonna put it back into the original bowls and we'll give that a try. but look how well that sealed it. I can just feel it going, uns getting unsealed right now. Now, these bags are reusable. I'm just gonna basically clean it out, cut it straight, and I can use it. May even be able to use it vertically. So we'll give it a try. So now we're gonna pour some water in here. We're gonna do it by eye. Almost looks like porridge or oatmeal or grits, wherever you're from. Now this takes some time in the front end, but when you're out in the field, it'll make life a lot easier once you have everything mixed and ready to go. That way you don't have to worry about cutting things up and dealing with it. Let's pour a little more fluid in here. A little more. All right, so let's take a look at what we just made. Some mashed potatoes. Looks yummy, right? Well, we probably need to put some beans or peas or something in there to give it a little uh, more of a green color. But when camping, that's when you're not supposed to eat greens, I guess. I don't know. It seems like all the dehydrated meals have no real color to them. So let's give it a try. Ooh, that had a little kick to it, a little spice. So the Spam in here had a little spice to it, which is nice. I've never had the Spam before. Mashed potatoes, 
they're dehydrated mashed potatoes. So pretty much they all taste the same to me. They have a nice flavor. They have enough calories in here to fill you up after a long day hiking. Uh, I probably would have the other bag, maybe make the other bag, depending on how much I did throughout the day. The flavors are good. It would make me happy on the trail. So what recipes do you use when you go camping? What kind of food saver do you use? How do you store your food? Do you break it up? Do you just bring it all at once? How, what works for you? So please let me know down in the comments. Please click like and subscribe. Remember, I review it so you don't have to. I hike it so you don't have to. Now, I eat it so you don't have to. Hmm. And it's good. Have a great day. Please remember, click like and subscribe.